shall come to pass that in the place where it was said unto them, Ye are not my people, there shall they be called the children of the living God. Isaiah also cried concerning Israel, Though the number of the children of Israel be as the sand of the sea, a remnant shall be saved. Israelites, do not misunderstand what is happening in this generation. Persecution is not based solely on punishment and oppression. Persecution can also bring change, promotion, and deliverance in the mix of trouble. Remember, the Most High has a purpose for everything that takes place under the sun. What the kingdom of darkness meant for evil, the Most High would turn around for good. Do not let oppression cause you to drift and doubt the Most High. Do not let personal persecutions cause you to limit your interactions with the Most High. Do not let the kingdom of darkness decide how you should serve the Most High. Regardless of what is taking place in the physical realm, do not let trials and tribulations change your mind in serving the Most High. It is important that you make the decision to serve the Most High every day. Yes, you have to choose to serve Yah every day. And if it seem evil unto you to serve the Lord, Choose you this day whom ye will serve, whether the gods which your fathers served that were on the other side of the flood, or the gods of the Amorites, in whose land ye dwell. But as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Whatever kingdom dominating your life would have the most influence. If the kingdom of darkness is the major force behind the scene influencing your life, you will submit to the beast system. The decisions you make will correspond with the views of this world. The scriptures inform us that Satan is the God of this world. In addition, the Most High said the earth was given into the hands of the wicked. If you agree with the views of this world, Satan is your father. If the Holy Spirit is the dominating force in your life, you would be an outcast in this world. In addition, the world will hate you. The scripture said the world hated Yahshua before it hated you. If the world hate you, ye know that it hated me before it hated you. The scriptures inform us that the world hated Yahshua. Organized religion is the biggest nonprofit on earth. If the beast system support religion, you know it is not of the most high. The church and society proclaim to be followers of the Messiah that was sent to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Yet Yeshua said the world hated him. In addition, Yeshua said he do not know the people who say they follow him in organized religion. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? And in thy name have cast out devils? And in thy name done many wonderful works? And then will I profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. The Bible is a testimony against religion, yet many hang on to religion believing that their religion is going to save them. Israelites, the church is not following the Messiah that came in the Father's name. I am come in my Father's name, and ye receive me not. If another shall come in his own name, him ye will receive. The beast system used the Messiah that came in his own name to maintain control, in addition to keep Israelites in bondage. Israelites, the scriptures say Yeshua descend from the lineage of David from the tribe of Judah. It should be of no surprise that the world hates you. Your appearance is a testimony to the descendants of those who hung Yeshua on a tree. If you are taking heed to Yeshua's teachings, of course the world is going to hate you. Righteousness afflict wickedness. Darkness cannot stand in the presence of righteousness. The wicked must flee. Those who uphold the statutes of the Most High are afflicting the wicked. That is why they flee from your presence. Some will persecute you to get you to stop tormenting them. And behold, they cried out saying, What have we to do with thee, Jesus, thou Son of God? Art thou come hither to torment us before the time? Upholding the statutes of the Most High is tormenting the kingdom of darkness. That is why it is important to Satan to discourage you from serving the Most High. Satan cannot control the people he has no covenant with. 
That is why he makes it his purpose to oppress you. Do not follow the ways of this world. You must live among the heathens. You can live in this world and not be of this world. I pray not that thou shouldst take them out of the world, but that thou shouldst keep them from the evil. They are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. Just because we live among the heathens, it does not mean we have to live like the heathens. If you welcome and appreciate the beast system, then the love of the Father is not in you. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. The Messiah that came in the Father's name upholds the laws, statutes, and commandments of the Most High. The Messiah that came in his own name is lawless. The Messiah that came in his own name is the God in the flesh that many receive and serve. He is the image of the beast. The beast system love him and welcomes him. That is why there is altars disguised as churches erected to him in every nation. If the beast system accepts and welcomes you, you are an enemy to the Most High. Ye adulterers and adulteresses, know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with God? Whosoever therefore will be a friend of the world is the enemy of God. Israelites, be careful when the world praise you and speak well of you. Such praises could mean you need to examine yourself. You may have drifted far from the Most High. Woe unto you, when all men shall speak well of you, for so did their fathers to the false prophets. Too many Israelites are friends with this world. They welcome the ways of the beast system. Black people came together on one accord to fight the heathens to integrate with them. They believed that if the heathens view them as equal, they would live the good life in the land of their captivity. Israelites, you live in the land of your captivity, not the promised land. Many Israelites want to enjoy the best of both worlds. They want to hang on to the promises the Most High made while indulging in their flesh desires in the beast system. That is why many Israelites accept religion. It gives them the illusion they desire, pretending to serve the Most High while living a lawless life. You cannot serve the Most High in the kingdom of darkness. Ye cannot drink the cup of the Lord and the cup of devils. Ye cannot be partakers of the Lord's table and of the table of devils. Many Israelites are holding the Most High with one hand and the beast system with the other. If you truly want to see the Most High's sovereignty, you would have to let go of the beast system. There is no way you can serve the Most High and the world love you. Satan is not going to promote you in the beast system if you are doing the will of the Most High. The Most High said you could not please him and operate in the flesh. The spirit and the flesh oppose each other. For the flesh lusteth against the spirit and the spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary the one to the other so that ye cannot do the things that ye would. Do not believe the workers of iniquity when they say you can serve the Most High and live a lawless life. Religion promotes such ideology. Organized religion give the people false hope. The people are mind controlled to believe that all people who accept the Messiah that came in his own name will be saved. Religion also promote a false sense of security for the wicked. The wicked among us believe they have time to indulge in their lustful flesh desires. As soon as they are done committing abominable practices, they will accept the image of the beast as their savior and all will be well. How did the people of the Most High fell for these lies for such a long period? I am glad to know many Israelites are waking up to the truth. Through knowledge would the just be delivered. An hypocrite with his mouth destroyeth his neighbor, but through knowledge shall the just be delivered. Israelites, you cannot serve the Most High and depend on the beast system for provision. The Most High refers to his people who operate in this manner, lukewarm. The Most High despised lukewarm Israelites. Yah, rather that you are for him or against him. A double-minded Israelite is unstable in everything that he or she does. I know thy works, that thou art neither cold nor hot. I would thou wert cold or hot. So then, because thou art lukewarm and neither cold nor hot, 
I will spew thee out of my mouth. You have to believe the Most High can handle your situations. Remember, there is nothing too hard for the Most High. You do not have to exchange your glory to obtain favor in the sight of the heathens. You do not have to forge covenants with the beast system to live a life that is pleasing in the sight of the Most High. The kingdom of darkness and the heathens have stolen much from you. There is no need to continue to forge covenants that are not beneficial to you. The scriptures narrate multiple occasions our ancestors made covenants with the heathen nations and the covenants backfired on them. There is nothing the beast system could offer you that will not harm you. The kingdom of darkness is incapable of producing good fruits. Satan is a liar and the father of it. Ye are of your father, the devil, and the lusts of your father ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning and abode not in the truth because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar and the father of it. Forging covenants with the workers of iniquity is setting you up for failure. Joshua was deceived into establishing a covenant with their enemies. Joshua and the elders did not seek the Most High before proceeding. As a result, they were deceived by their enemies and the covenant forged backfired on the Israelites. And the men took of their victuals, and asked not counsel at the mouth of the Lord. And Joshua made peace with them, and made a league with them, to let them live. And the princes of the congregation swear unto them. And it came to pass at the end of three days, after they had made a league with them, that they heard that they were their neighbors, and that they dwelt among them. But all the princes said unto all the congregation, We have sworn unto them by the Lord God of Israel. Now therefore we may not touch them. This we will do to them. We will even let them live, lest wrath be upon us because of the oath which we swear unto them. And the princes said unto them, Let them live, but let them be hewers of wood and drawers of water unto all the congregation, as the princes had promised them. There are many covenants forged with the heathens in this generation and prior generations that backfired on us. Our ancestors who fought with the heathens to integrate with them won the so-called battle. Our ancestors made an evil covenant with their enemies. The covenant made is still affecting this generation. The spirit of division has manifest in another form. Israelites are persecuted when they move into a community that is not their own. Yet the beast system said there should be no more segregation. How many times have we heard the police were called on a black person in their neighborhood simply because the heathen neighbor believed that individual do not belong? Integration did not elevate us but hurt us. I am sure our ancestors believed they were doing the right thing when they decided to fight for integration. Like the elders in Joshua's generation, none seek the most high for wisdom before proceeding. This generation is paying the price. Israelites, this is why you cannot serve the Most High in devils. You must choose. You should never make a treaty with your enemies. How many times have the heathens proven they cannot be trusted? Our ancestors who inherited the sins of our fathers lament to the Most High saying, Our fathers have sinned and we bore their punishments. I have heard Israelites rehearse the same things, the curses and the sins of our fathers. Yet many Israelites ignore their sins and the evil covenants they are forging with the heathens presently. If Israelites would obey the Most High and repent, the sins of our fathers would not affect the righteous. It is time to take responsibility for your actions. Our fathers have sinned and are not, and we have borne their iniquities. There is nothing new under the sun. The Most High will honor all covenants. Our ancestors in Joshua's generation could not touch the Gibeonites or they would be cursed. Today, the Most High is honoring all the covenants our ancestors have made. Covenants like integration, worshiping idols in religion, the new covenants Israelites are forging with the heathens presently, provision from the beast system, a notorious covenant Israelites are forging, the marriage covenant. Many Israelites have been deceived by the agents among us. Israelites are marrying the heathens. The offspring from the heathen and Israelite union are the future oppressors to your great-grandchildren. In addition, your carelessness is increasing the population of your enemies. If you have ears to hear, let them hear. 
get wisdom, get understanding, Israelites. Get wisdom, get understanding, forget it not, neither decline from the words of my mouth. Forsake her not, and she shall preserve thee. Love her, and she shall keep thee. Wisdom is the principal thing, therefore get wisdom, and with all thy getting, get understanding. Israelites, it is important that you understand not to make deals with devils. You cannot put your faith and trust in the kingdom of darkness, beast system. You have to separate from the beast system. The covenant our ancestors made with the Gibeonites was in full effect in King David's generation. Israelites, it is important that you understand that covenants travel from one generation to the next. Evil covenants will continue to transfer until someone recognize and break the covenant. The same with covenant blessings. When King Saul violated the covenant Joshua and the elders made with the Gibeonites, the Israelites suffered through consecutive famines. King David had to seek the Most High for answers. Once David found the root cause to the Israelites' persecution, David had to get instructions from the Most High on how to break the covenant. Then there was a famine in the days of David three years, year after year. And David inquired of the Lord, and the Lord answered, It is for Saul and for his bloody house, because he slew the Gibeonites. And the king called the Gibeonites and said unto them, Now the Gibeonites were not of the children of Israel, but of the remnant of the Amorites. And the children of Israel had sworn unto them. And Saul sought to slay them in his zeal to the children of Israel and Judah. Wherefore David said unto the Gibeonites, What shall I do for you? And wherewith shall I make the atonement that ye may bless the inheritance of the Lord? We are suffering from the many abominable covenants our ancestors made, as well as the covenants Israelites are establishing with the kingdom of darkness. It is the job of the leaders in our communities to recognize the problem and break the covenants. Do not look around and say we have no leaders. If you have a household, you are the leaders in the community. It is the leader's responsibility to recognize the enemy destroying their household and community. Deal with the enemy accordingly. Do not take on the mentality of Adam. Adam allowed the kingdom of darkness to destroy what the Most High gave him. The Most High gave Adam the earth. Yah gave Adam dominion. Adam gave his dominion to the kingdom of darkness and the heathens. God said, Let us make man in our image, after our likeness, and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the fowl of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. History is repeating itself. The head of the households are giving away their dominion to the kingdom of darkness. You can no longer allow evil covenants to transfer to the next generation. The Most High is not waking up his people to boast about being the chosen people. The Most High is not allowing the kingdom of darkness to wage war with you in this generation to remain complacent. Persecutions such as this present pandemic is not being allowed by the Most High for you to miss the opportunity to change your situation. Fellowshipping and listening to the chosen teachers of the Most High is not your only duty in the awakening. Action is required. If the Most High be for us, who can be against us? What shall we then say to these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? Israelites, do not be misled by the rebels among us with a big voice. They have a big voice because they're doing the will of the kingdom of darkness. Satan will promote the Israelites with a reprobate mind. The reason it appears as if the rebels among us have a louder voice, the workers of iniquity is censoring those who oppose them. However, do not be deceived. There are more with us than there are who do the will of the kingdom of darkness. And he answered, fear not, for they that be with us are more than they that be with them. Who can stand against the army of the Most High? The kingdom of darkness want you to believe the wicked is in full control. Do not let what you see deceive you. What you can see is temporary. The kingdom of darkness reign is temporary. Satan promote the illusion of dominance to discourage the righteous, in addition to increase his army. The Most High has the final say. 
Yah appoint kings and he can dethrone them as well. Do not underestimate the Elohim of Israel. And he changeth the times and the seasons. He removeth kings and setteth up kings. He giveth wisdom unto the wise and knowledge to them that know understanding. Many Israelites are seeking the Most High and want a change for our community. We cannot focus on the rebels among us who wants to destroy our communities. The rebels made their choice. You have to look past them and seek the Most High. When you do not allow the distractions that come from the enemies within, I promise you will begin to see the hands of the Most High. You will experience personal deliverance and our people will gain freedom collectively. Israelites, we are doing our best to sound the alarm. It is up to each individual to seek answers for themselves. It is not your responsibility to save anyone's life. Remove that pressure off yourself. Remember, in the Most High's house, there are vessels made for honor and some for dishonor. Hath not the potter power over the clay of the same lump to make one vessel unto honor and another unto dishonor? Each individual has to make the decision to change their life. If they are not predestined to inherit the kingdom, they will not. You cannot be brokenhearted for wicked Israelites. Shift your focus back to the Most High. Yah will lead you in the direction you should go. Let the wicked among us enjoy their flesh desires. They have gained all that they will receive in full. Therefore, when thou doest thine alms, do not sound a trumpet before thee as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets, that they may have glory of men. Verily I say unto you, they have their reward. Israelites, do not let the kingdom of darkness order your steps. The Most High is with you. Yah promised he would never leave us nor forsake us. Trust the Most High and give Yah a chance to show you his glory. Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue, and if there be any praise, think on these things. Those things which you have both learned and received and heard and seen in me, do, and the God of peace shall be with you.